Hi viewers, good to meet you once again. It's Luis Das from English is Luis channel. Hope you are all doing fine by the grace of God wherever you are, whatever you do. May God grant you many more days of good health and hygiene and happiness in your life. So, what am I going to do in this video? These days I am just helping you to understand the auxiliary verbs in English and we have successfully completed discussing about the primary auxiliaries. We discussed about the B verbs am, is, are, was, were. In addition to that, this video is going to be a discussion on every one of the model auxiliaries and in particular in this video I am just going to help you to understand the verb model auxiliary can what is the role or what are the different roles played by the auxiliary verb can if you remember well when I began to speak about the auxiliary verbs, I said there are 24 auxiliaries in English, 11 primary auxiliaries and 13 model auxiliaries. And out of those 13, 4 of them are called semi-models and the rest of the 9 are called models. The semi-models semi also Nowadays they are called as quasi models. Okay, now, so in this video, I am just going to discuss in a detailed manner the auxiliary verb can. You may have come across can is one of the one of the most used auxiliary verb in English. The functions of can differ depending upon its use. In English, about three or four ways you can make use of this auxiliary verb and it will show different functions when we make use of them, when we make use of fit in various sentences according to the situations and the circumstances that arise. See, can is the verb First of all, it shows the ability. Can I see? First of all, it shows the ability. By framing sentences or by using this verb, auxiliary verb can, model auxiliary verb can, we can understand how the person or how the thing or how a place is capable or able to do something. See for example, if I write an example here, I can speak English fluently. Of course all of us can speak English, but when you say I can speak English fluently, that shows the ability of the person, I. Ability of the person. I can sing. Or we can sing. You can change the subjects, of course. Huh? I can sing melodiously. All of us can sing, but then if you look at the sentence, it shows the ability of that person that he or she can sing melodiously. See? And I can lift it. Uh, I can, or we can, we can uh, study for a long time. We can study for a long time. See? 
So whenever you think of, there are so many sentences you can give us examples. So first of all, we need to understand the verb can help us to understand the ability of a subject in the sentence. It shows the ability. So many examples, I can lift to 50 kilos. I can carry 100 kilos. I can run faster than my elder brother or younger sister. Something like that, ability. So that is the first role or the first function of the auxiliary verb can. Second use, if you think of the verb can, it can help us to ask permission. See, permission. Permission, in, in other words, it can help us to ask questions when you want to go somewhere or when you want to request somebody. So you can use this. Can I use your pen? See? Please? Can, can I use your pen, please? Of course, that would become under request. Now, can we go for a walk? Can we go for a walk and then? Can we sing songs? Or can we jump? So many examples we can give. See now? Can. Can all of you clap your hands? See? And all of you clap. Clap. See? Permission. Of course, when you see an interrogation at the end of a sentence, in other words, it can also of great it can be also of great help to ask questions. Permission. That's the second function of a the verb of the verb can in English. One of the model auxiliaries. And the third verb could be on the third use. And the third uh, uh, use could be. Now I may have to rub something. Let me write it here. It can offer. It can offer. Can we offer? Can we lend our? Can we lend our? You see car. Can we lend our car? Offering. See, can we lend our car? Of course, you can think it may look like a, uh, a question again. So you can make this as a statement also. We can lend our car. See. We can lend our car. So it can be a statement also. So this is the third use. This is the third use. Offer. Huh? So the verb can help us to make offer also. See? And then the, and then finally you can uh, you can make use of the verb to request something. See? Request something. Request something. Can you give me your uh, uh, see can you give me your and then you can use, can you give me your car please or can you give me your pen? Okay, can you give me your pen? See, can you give me your pen? Can you, or you can say can we Can we see? Can we suggest an idea? Can we suggest an idea? Maybe to go for a picnic, to go for a, an excursion. 
all right so these are uh, uh, four different ways by which you can make use of the oxalate verb can in english can in english so these are the these are the auxiliary model auxiliary verb and can in a special manner when you make use of this verb can it will really show you or it will really make us to understand the person who whom the whom the verb is used to by see so when a person make use of these words on and off when a person makes use of this word on and off in different categories it could refer to a request it could refer to an offer it could refer to an ability it could refer to a request see so by this uh, kind of usage of the verb can one can really or we can really become better writers and speakers of english whenever you use the verb can it shows how the person is capable of something it shows i can i can it shows how the person is sure how the person is sure to do something okay guys so uh, today as far as this auxiliary verb is concerned can model auxiliary and this is the first uh, model auxiliary that i have discussed today and then so from today onwards those who have not used this verb can now here after whenever you are going to use this verb can remember these four different roles of can will really make us understand english better when we make use of this verb can at our various levels at our various interventions while we speak when we write so this can be used okay so that's enough for today guys so let me close this video for the time being because every video is going to be uh, a kind of a clarification or using of the 13 auxiliary verb so in my next video i will talk about the or i will discuss with you the past tense of the verb could can see can past tense of can is could so let me talk about that word in a, in a, in my next video my next video so until then bye for the time being have a nice day wherever you are watch my video till the end click the bell icon and subscribe my channel and increase the views give your comments i expect your views and likings as i have been telling you for the past uh, two months or so i have actually posted or released about 150 videos 130 videos sorry so if you can look up if you can watch all these videos we have covered we have covered more than 50 percentage of the grammar items so far and every single video is consisting of a different unique particular topic of grammar okay guys make use of my videos watch till the end until i see you next time it's your teacher louis da signing off to, from today's video thank you god bless you bye